Swayam Prabha, Digital India, Educated India. Dear students, I welcome you all to the lecture 9 on crystallography codes offered by us. Today we will discuss about the isometric crystal forms and we in the last class we introduced crystal forms and we discussed two types of isometric crystal forms namely cubic form and dodecahedron form and today we will continue further and we will see the remaining crystal forms under isometric crystal system and after that we will discuss about the crystal forms in non-isometric crystal systems. So, essentially in crystal systems belonging to triclinic, monoclinic, orthorhombic, tetragonal, trigonal and hexagonal crystal system. Okay. So, let us have a look at the, uh, the next isometric crystal form and this form symbol here is H k 0. H is not equal to k and let us uh, discuss about this particular uh, crystal form in terms of uh, a, a representative crystal phase which is 2 1 0 here. So, when we talk about H k 0 we again remind you that when 0 is there in the position of C it represents it is a vertical crystal phase. So, let us consider that we take H is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1. So, it becomes uh, the crystal phase is a 2 1 0 and immediately you know the position of this particular 2 1 0 is in between this point here which is 1 0 0 and this is 1 1 0. So, 2 1 0 will lie in the zone between 1 0 0 and say 1 1 0. So, if we have this 2 1 0 is the position here, then what will happen here? It will be acted upon by this triad here. So, I am discussing this with respect to uh, the crystal system to th uh, with respect to the point group of symmetry that is 2 3. And uh, what we have in 2 3? Let us recapitulate once again to the that there are three diodes. This one is a vertical diode and this one is a horizontal diode of this orientation and this is another a horizontal diode of this orientation here. And the four green triangles they represent four body diagonals and they are triads here. So, if this is the position of 2 1 0 crystal phase, so then this triad will act upon this and it will rotate 120 degree and along this direction here and it will bring this to this point here and this will still be an open circle that is uh, shown by the red outline here. Another 120 degree rotation will bring this red circle to this red circle here. So, let us try to understand what will be the nomenclature of these two red circles that means two faces that are generated with this starting phase here. Now, this phase is the one which lies say for example, this point this is 0 0 1 and this is say 0 1 0. So, in between we have that is 0 1 1 1 and this open circle here lies between 0 1 1 and 0 1 0. So, it will be the 1 which is 0 to 0 to 1. When we have in the third position here at that is the position of C this is positive that means, it is intersecting the positive direction of the A 3 axis here. <coughs> now, let us again uh, consider this red circle here and this is 0 to 1 and this will be acted upon by this triangle here and uh, this threefold axis symmetry here and 120 degree rotation will bring this 0 to 1 to this position here and another 120 degree this will be brought to this open circle position here. Now, what will be the Miller index symbol of these two phases one at here 
and other at here. Now, let us see we know that this is your 0 1 0 and this point here is bar 1 0 0 and this will be the 1 which will be bar 1 1 0. So, it intersects the positive direction of a 2 axis, but negative direction a, a 1 axis. So, this is bar 1 1 0. So, immediately this will lie in the zone between bar 1 0 0 and bar 1 1 0. So, it will be uh, the symbol will be here bar 2 1 0 here. And what will be the symbol of this crystal phase here, which lies in the crystal zone between 0 0 1 and here that is uh, this will be uh, 1 0 uh, this will be uh, this is be bar 1 0 0. So, this will be this position here in the midpoint this will be bar 1 0 1. So, it will be lying between bar 1 0 1 and 0 0 1. So, this will be bar 1 0 2 here. Now, this will again be acted upon by this triad here and this will be after 120 degree rotation this open symbol will be rotated to this position here. So, what will be this uh, position here? So, this will be uh, this phase will be a vertical phase and lies in a zone between bar 1 bar 1 0 and bar 1 0 0. So, it will be the nomenclature will be bar 1 bar 2 bar 1 0 here and this one will be uh, rotated 120 degree. So, this will bring uh, this particular open circle here and this will be uh, the this will be lying between this point here that will be your uh, 0 bar 1 1 and this is bar 1 0 0 it, it lies in the zone between this. So, it will be by applying the additive rule here it will be 0 bar 2 1 here this open circle here and after one, this will now be acted upon by this triad here. So, this open circle after 120 degree rotation will come here and this will be uh, the position here will be 2 bar 1 0 here. So, in nutshell this operation of this four triads now with this starting motif or this phase 2 1 0 has now produced 1, 2, 3, 3 additional vertical faces here and it has produced 4 inclined faces all has been uh, all these inclined faces intersect the positive direction of the a 3 axis here. Now, you also have this horizontal two fold axis one passing through this and another horizontal two fold axis passing through this. What will happen here? this particular horizontal two fold axis will act upon this phase here that is 1 0 2 and after 180 degree rotation this will be repeated here uh, a phase which will intersect the negative direction of a 3 axis and the symbol of this will be bar 1 0 bar 2 and this has been shown by this cross here. The cross the symbol refers to a crystal phase which intersects the negative direction of the a 3 axis. Once you generate a cross here immediately this cross will be rotated 180 degree with respect to this vertical two fold axis symmetry and will generate a cross here. This cross represents what is what will it represent? It will represent the phase which intersects the negative direction of a 3 axis. So, if 1 0 2 is a phase which intersects the positive direction of a 3 axis, the negative direction of the a 3 axis that phase will have a symbol 1 0 part 2. So, the next one is this one here. If we talk about this horizontal two fold axis, this open circle now will be acted upon this horizontal two fold axis and this is the one where the phase intersects the positive direction of a 3 axis. So, after 180 degree rotation of this horizontal axis this phase will be repeated here as a phase which intersects 
the negative direction of the a 3 axis. So, and the symbol will be 0 bar 2 bar 1 here. Same way this cross which is the one which intersects the negative direction of a 3 axis after 180 degree rotation with respect to this vertical diode here. This will be repeated in this particular place here this cross here which will represent 0 2 bar 1. Now, what does it mean here? So, how many total crystal phases are generated with this starting uh, symbol here 210? They are 12 in number. The 4 are vertical and there are 8 inclined and 4, in, uh, four inclined phases they intersect the positive direction of the a 3 axis which is shown by this 4 circle here and there are 4 inclined faces which intersect the negative direction of the a 3 axis these are shown by the 4 crosses here. So, this 12 faced form is given a name called pyritohedron and this is present in the crystal pyrite and this is the crystal model of a pyritohedron. You see that each phase is a pentagonal shaped face here and this is the one in a cube. These are the positions of a 1 axis, a 2 axis and a 3 axis here and you see that all these faces here 2 1 0 0 2 1 and 0 2 bar 1 they intersect at this point. This is the position of a triad here. Okay. Now, we have developed this uh, we have seen this 12 faced form here using this particular point group of symmetry here 2 3. So, if you have if you change the point group of symmetry to 2 over m bar 3 what happens? So, this is this 3 2 fold axis remains essentially you have perpendicular mirror planes which is now shown by this 3 bold lines here and this is the horizontal mirror plane perpendicular to this vertical 2 fold axis symmetry and these are the positions of triads here. Essentially you have a bar 3 that is the center of symmetry here which is shown by this yellow uh, circle here inside this triangle here. Importantly if you start with this 2 1 0 again here you will have the same pattern of the faces that you have seen with 2 3. So, therefore, pyritohedron which is an H k 0 general form symbol is present in isometric crystals belonging to 2 3 and 2 over m bar 3 points group of symmetry here. And these are the 12 crystal faces that has been written here. So, I am not repeating here which I am also I have also shown them in this stereographic projections here in this two uh, diagrams of 2 3 and 2 over m bar 3. Now, let us uh, now go to the next stage here where the form symbol will remain the same. What will happen here what will you do here is that we will just change the point group of symmetry to the remaining three points of points group of symmetry under the isometric crystal system here. And I am showing this with this uh, among the three remaining in this diagram I am showing this with 2 here with 4 3 2 4 over m bar 3 2 over m and you also have bar 4 3 m which I am not showing here, but it will also yield the same pattern here. Now, what do you have here? So, this is the if we if we start with 4 3 2. So, you have this 3 4 fold axis symmetry this is the vertical 4 fold axis. So, this is your also the a 3 axis and this is uh, the horizontal 4 fold axis which coincides with the a 2 axis and this is another horizontal 4 fold axis which coincides with the a 1 axis here. And you have in 4 3 2 there are 6 diodes this is this one and this one is your horizontal diode. So, there are 2 horizontal 2 fold axis symmetry and these 4 are the positions of 4 inclined diodes or edge diagonals here and this green one they represent the 4 triads here. Now, let us see this particular one here 
Although this diagram is seems slightly more complicated, let me explain and you will be able to understand what how this all these motifs or the positions or different crystal faces that can be formed here. Now, this is your 210 and you have to uh, if this will be acted upon this triad here and as we have done it here this open circle after this uh, rotation of 120 degree this open circle will come here this open circle will come here. And what will happen here is that as we have done with respect to 2 3 and 2 over m bar 3 this open circle will again be acted upon by this triad and what will happen here you have this open circle here and you also have this open circle here. So, in a way this open circle and will be repeated by this uh, the sy symmetry of this point group or all the symmetry axis that we see here. So, this after this this will acted upon by this. So, you have this power this phase will be generated here and once you have this phase generated here you have this particular phase generated here and you another phase generated here. So, in nutshell now that the same 12 phases that we have generated with 2 3 and say 2 over m bar 3 will also be present in 4 3 2. Now, what we have here is that you have this horizontal two fold axis which was absent in 2 3 and 2 over m bar 3. This two fold axis will now act upon this 2 1 0 here and you will generate another phase here at this point here. And what will be its name here? It lies between 1 1 0 and 0 1 0. So, if you apply the additive rule here and then this will be the phase will be 1 1 0 and 0 1 0. So, it will be uh, this will be 1 2 0. So, this will be the name of the 1 2 0 phase here. So, as soon as you have this 1 2 0 here immediately what will happen here this particular uh, phase will be acted upon by this triad here and you will generate another open symbol here and then this open symbol will be acted upon by this tri by this triad here and will generate this open symbol here. So, what happens here? Because of this symmetry in this particular point group that is this diet, this diet will, will, will enable the generation from this 2 1 0 another vertical phase 1 2 0, another inclined phase which will nomenclature will be between 0 0 1 and 0 1 1. So, this will be 0 1 2 here and this will be this open symbol here this will be uh, the one which will be lying between 1 0 1 and 1 0 0. So, this will be 2 0 1. So, in the same way what will happen here is that you have generated three open symbols here with the starting one. Same way here you have generate this particular open symbol here, you will generate this open symbol here and this already we know this is the we have generated here. So, and then this particular two fold axis of symmetry will now also act upon this particular uh, open symbol here and 180 degree rotation will generate a cross here. So, there will be a phase which will intersect at the negative direction of the uh, a 3 axis here. Once you have this cross, so you can uh, understand this cross will be acted upon this vertical four fold. So, you can have a cross here, you can have a cross here, you can have a cross here. So, in nutshell now what you have here in this particular case a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, you have an 8 vertical faces here and what you also have a 16 inclined faces here. Among this 16 inclined face, so how do you know the 16 inclined face? So, in this along the a 1 axis we have 
is 2 plus 2 4. So, 4 into 4 16 inclined faces among this the open circle they are 18 number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. So, this 8 open circles here that means there are 8 faces which intersect the positive direction of the a 3 axis and there are also 8 crosses here those 8 faces they will intersect the negative direction of the a 3 axis. So, what we have here is the same form symbol in this point group 4 3 2 has generated 24 faces here. In the earlier case there are 12 faces here, but here you have 24 faces. Immediately you now know uh, the, the form or, uh, or the aggregates of crystal faces which are symmetrically related to each other they are number. They are a function of their inclination with respect to the 3 axis which is the form symbol as well as the point group of symmetry that is present there in that particular crystal system here. So, with the starting form symbol 2 1 0 in the 2 3 and 2 over m bar 3 point groups you have 12 pentagonal shaped faces were generated we call it as paritohedron. But here in this particular case this 24 faces give rise to a crystal form which has been given in a name called tetrahexahedron. So, hexahedron is essentially another name of cube. So, when you have tell tetra hexahedron are 6 faces here and now each face now breaks up into 4 triangle triangles here. So, 4 into 6 there are 24 faces and this is an crystal model of tetrahexahedron. You find out that this is your a 1 axis, this is your a 2 axis and this is your a 3 axis here. Immediately you can find this is your 1 0 0 phase in cube or hexahedron then this has now been divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 triangular shaped faces here. So, each hexahedron faces uh, if it is now consists of 4 faces here. So, 6 such original cubic faces will now give rise to 6 into 4 24 faces here and this kind of uh, tetrahexahedron will be present not only in 4 3 2, 4 over m bar 3 2 over m and you can also study on your own in the point group of symmetry bar 4 3 m. So, you see that uh, I repeat once again if you start with a general form symbol of h k 0 this can give rise to two broad varieties of forms here in isometric system one set of one type of form will be called paritohedron and other variety of form will be called tetrahexahedron and this depends on the type of point group of symmetry here. Okay. Let us go to the next crystal form in the isometric crystal system here and here we now consider a, a general phase here as 1 1 1 and 1 1 1 refers to a crystal phase which intersects all the three crystallographic axes 1 uh, a 1 a 2 and a 3 and they intersect at the same unit lengths here. Now, question is what will be the position of 1 1 1. Now, 1 1 1 is a crystal phase which is uh, at an angle which is perpendicular to a direction which has which has the symbol of 1 1 1 that is 1 1 1 under second bracket is a is a direction here is essentially a crystallographic axis and that crystallographic axis is a triad. Now, if you have a phase which is essentially is perpendicular to the triad immediately you know 
the triad will have no role on this 1 1 1 phase. So, even if you have the triad, the triad will not generate additional phases from 1 1 1. Now, where your 1 1 1 phase will plot? Let us consider this particular point group of symmetry that is 4 3 2. Now, you now know this particular point here which has a mirror index symbol at this point if there is a phase this is 1 1 0 and this is the point which is 0 0 1. So, 1 1 1 will lie in a zone between 0 0 1 and 1 1 0 that will be somewhere here and this is essentially the position of the three fold axis of symmetry here. So, this is your position of 1 1 1 which is the position where it intersects the positive direction of the a 3 axis. If this is the situation here immediately you can understand that if you have a vertical four fold axis this phase will now be rotated 90 degree and this will be repeated here another 90 degree it will be repeated here another 90 degree it will be repeated here. So, this will be shown by this open red circle 1, 2, 3. Now, what will be the nomenclature of this open red circle here? Immediately you know this lies in the quadrant in the positive direction of a 2 axis and the negative direction of a 1 axis. So, it will have a, a, a nomenclature bar 1, 1, 1. What will be the nomenclature of this phase here? It lies in the negative direction of a 1 axis negative direction of a 2 axis. So, it will have a nomenclature of bar 1, bar 1, 1 and this is the one which lies in the negative direction of a 2 axis and the positive direction of a 1 axis. So, its nomenclature will be 1 bar 1, 1. Now, what you have here is that you also have a dryad, diagonal dryad passing through this here. So, immediately you know this open circle will be rotated with respect to this horizontal diet and this phase which is intersecting the positive direction of a 3 axis after rotation will produce another phase which will intersect the negative direction of a 3 axis and in its position will be diametrically opposite here. And since it is intersecting the negative direction of the a 3 axis its symbol will be a cross here and the position is here is that it is also in the negative direction of a 2 axis, but the positive direction of a 1 axis. So, we will just give a nomenclature 1 bar 1 bar 1. So, once you generate a cross here the, the vertical four fold axis will rotate this cross and will produce a cross here, it will produce a cross here, it will produce a cross here. So, you have three phases which will intersect the negative direction of uh, a 3 axis are generated here. So, you now have from a starting 1 1 1 you have a total of 8 crystal phases here and this 8 crystal phase among this can be subdivided into 4 which intersect the positive direction of a 3 axis and there will be 4 which will intersect the negative direction of a 3 axis. This 8 phases these are equilateral triangles they give rise to a crystal form which has been called octahedron and this is the model of an octahedron here. This is your a 1 axis, this is your a 2 axis and this is your a 3 axis here and I have shown you these two phases I have given the name here this is this frontal phase here which intersects the positive direction of a 1, positive direction of a 2 and the positive direction of a 3 this is your 1 1 1 and this is the one you can appreciate here this phase intersects the positive direction of a 1, the negative direction of a 2 and the positive direction of a 3. So, you give a name here 1 bar 1 1 and you can also appreciate these two phases here this phase here it intersects the positive direction of a 1, positive direction of a 2 and the negative direction of a 3. So, it will be having a symbol of 1 1 bar 1. 
whereas this triangle is the one which intersects the negative direction of A 3, the positive direction of A 1 and the negative direction of A 2 will be given a symbol of 1 bar 1 bar 1. And I have given the names of these 8 crystal faces here which are uh, octahedron which are related to each other in octahedron here. So, I have uh, again repeat here that I have already told the most critical part here this 1 1 phase is perpendicular to the triad that is why they will not be repeated here. So, symmetry axis of A axis so that is A, uh, here the 4 fold axis symmetry they relate 1 1 2 so 7 additional phases and we see this in crystals magnetite, chromite and spinel essentially the spinel group of minerals we see here. And this is uh, seen in 4 3 2. 4 over m bar 3, 2 over m and also 2 over m bar 3. But what happens to the same uh, crystal phase with the symbol 1, 1, 1 if the point group of symmetry changes to bar 4, 3 m and 2, 3. So, let us see what happens here. So, this is your bar 4 axis here and immediately you know that if you are starting motive position is 1, 1, 1. So, you would know that bar 4 axis is essentially a type of axis which behaves as a two fold axis symmetry. Immediately you know that this open symbol that is 1 1 1 it is in, it has intersected the positive direction of a 3 axis after 180 degree rotation will be regenerated here as another phase which is also which also intersects the positive direction of a 3 axis, but this phase will now intersect the negative direction of a 1 axis and the negative direction of A 2 axis here and it will be given a symbol of bar 1, bar 1, 1 here. You also think of this horizontal bar 4 axis which is essentially a diode and this open symbol after a rotation with respect to this horizontal diode will generate another phase here which will now intersect the negative direction of A 3 axis that is why shown by this cross here. Once you have a cross here, this vertical bar 4 axis will act upon this and will generate another cross here. And what will be the symbol of this cross? This is the cross which intersects the negative direction of A 3 axis, but lies within the quadrant of negative direction of A 2 and the positive direction of A 1 positive direction of A 1. So, it will have a symbol of 1 bar 1 bar 1 and this will have bar 1 1 bar 1. And if you go to 2 3 it will have the same combination here. So, you see that as you change the point group of symmetry the same phase now gives rise to only a total of 4 phases here. Here there are 8 phases these are 4 triangular shaped phases here and these 4 phases if you see here. So, this we call it as tetrahedron here and this is a this is an example of this tetrahedron here and this is the position of your bar 4 axis that is your A 1 this is another horizontal bar 4 axis this is A 2 and this is your vertical bar 4 axis this is your A 3 and this 4 faced form which we, we call it as tetrahedron and they are seen in point group of symmetry as 2 3 and bar 4 3 m. And as we have discussed in the case of octahedron because this face is perpendicular to the A 3 axis. So, A 3 axis will not act upon this and it will be essentially acted upon by the symmetry of the A 1, A 2 and A 3 axis. Now, what is important here is that if you have 1 1 1 as the general form symbol here in tetrahedron we call this as the positive tetrahedron, but you can also think of a situation that instead of taking 1 1 1 you can also think of another crystal phase which is 1 1 bar 1. That means, that phase will intersect the negative direction of your A 3 axis. So, that means, you will start with a cross here and this 
barred four axis will will act upon this cross and it will produce a cross here. And in that situation, the the what will be the phase symbol of that cross? It will be bar 1, bar 1, bar 1. Now, this particular one here, this horizontal power 4 axis will act upon this bar 1, bar 1, bar 1 will now generate a open symbol here. And what will be symbol? 1, bar 1, 1, because in that situation the open symbol represents the phase intersecting the positive direction of the a 3 axis. Now, if you have a 1 bar 1 1, then you will also generate an open symbol here that will be your bar 1 1 1. So, you still have 4 crystal faces, only the faces their symbols are different and they are essentially pairs of faces which intersect the negative direction of a 3 axis and the positive direction of a 3 axis. This four faced form, this will also be a tetrahedron, but we will call it as negative tetrahedron. And both forms, they develop in the same crystal, in the same crystal you can see both forms develop. Sometimes we see they are developed unequally, one type of form is developed uh, in greater proportion compared to the other that is very well developed, the other is less developed and uh, the other possibility is that this is equally both the forms developed equally and they mimics a true octahedron here. And the other possibility is that only either of the two is present in a crystal, either you have a positive tetrahedron or a negative tetrahedron here. Okay. So, we now we, we have concluded now octahedron and tetrahedron crystal forms in an isometric crystal system here. So, let us now study another type of form which intersects all the three crystal graphic axes. And here only important thing here it is not intersecting all the crystal graphic axis at equal lengths. Here. Let us consider the symbol of this form is H H L that means, along the A 1 and A 2 this particular uh, the intercepts are the same. Now, depending on the value of H and L you can have two situations here one in which h is uh, greater than l and the other situation is h is less than l. So, this is very nicely shown with respect to this diagram here. Now, this is the position, this is your positive direction of a 1, this is the positive direction of a 2 and this is your a 3 position here and you also know that this is 1 0 0 crystal phase here, this is 0 1 0 crystal phase. So, automatically you know this is the 1 1 0 crystal phase here and you also know at the midpoint of 0 0 1 and 1 1 0 you can have a crystal uh, phase this is 1 1 1 that is also the position of this triad here. Now, you can go towards the a 3 axis or you can go towards the 1 1 0 phase pole or pole here or the phase here. Now, if you are here then you will be in a zone between 0 0 1 and 1 1 1. So, you can have a phase which is 1 1 2. So, you see this 1 is less than 2. So, this is a situation the position is h is less than l and here you have a situation here that is 1 1 1 and 1 1 0. So, if you apply additive rule here it will be 2 2 1. So, this is this particular h is greater than l here. So, what you can do here, you can start with in one situation that is h less than l, that means you start with 1 1 2 and in since this does not coincide with the position of the triad axis, the triad will act upon it and will produce two motifs here, one here and the other here through 120 degree rotation and we will call it as 2 1 1 and 1 2 1. Whereas, if you have this particular position starting uh, motif here or starting phase here 2 to 1. So, this triad will act upon it and after 120 degree rotation it will produce 1 2 2 
and this is 2 1 2 phase here. So, this two fundamental types of motifs with a starting motif 1 1 2 or 2 2 1 can now be acted upon by or can be can be acted upon by 5 point group of symmetry in the isometric system and let us see what happens here. Now, you see here this is the one h, h less than l. So, we start with 1 1 2 here and what will happen here is that in point groups 2 3 and bar 4 3 m. So, this is this is the one here this is 2 3 and bar 4 3 m. So, what you have is here is that this is this this is the one is 1 1 2 and what will happen here it produces this symbols here uh, this is positive directions of a 3 axis and since this is a vertical two fold axis. So, this will be after rotation this will be repeated here, this will be repeated here and this will be repeated here. So, this is again the set of symbols here is uh, the open circle here that means they are intersecting the positive direction of a 3 axis here. Since you have this horizontal two fold axis, so what will happen? this open circle after 180 degree rotation here will be repeated here as a cross. That means, this phase will imply the intersections in the negative direction of a 3 axis. So, once you have a cross here, this triad will generate another two crosses here and this two fold axis of symmetry will generate this three crosses here. So, what you have here is that you have a total of 3 into 4 12 phases will be generated here. And this 12 phases we call it as tri tetrahedron here. So, what does it mean? You, you read it uh, in two parts here tris that means 3 and tetrahedron there are 4 phases here. That means, each phase or each triangular shaped phase in a tetrahedron now consists of three faces here, three triangles here. So, you see this is this 1 1 1 form is now essentially consists of the faces here. This we call it as tri tetrahedron here, but if the same 1 1 2 form is acted upon by the other three remaining points group of symmetry that is 2 over m bar 3, 4 3 2 and 4 over m bar 3 2 over m here. So, what will happen here is that once you have 2 over m bar 3 that means, you have a horizontal mirror plane here and with respect to each two fold axis there is a perpendicular mirror plane one of this orientation and another of this orientation here. So, with our knowledge before that if your starting symbol is here that is this particular here open circle here. So, through reflection of the horizontal plane you will generate three additional motifs or three additional faces which will uh, now produce faces which will intersect the negative direction of a 3 axis. So, at each place here you have 1 2 3 there are two faces here. So, this is true everywhere here. So, here you have 12 faces here. So, 12 into 2 that means, you have 24 faces here and this 24 faces are present in 2 over m bar 3, 4 3 2 and 4 over m bar 3 2 over m we call it as trapezohedron. So, these are essentially this uh, trapezohedron phase here and this is essentially what you have these are the triad here and this is the position of say in this particular case two fold axis symmetry in this case it will be four fold axis symmetry here. Now, if you have a case here where h is greater than l. So, your starting phase you can consider 2 to 1 and if you consider 2 3 and bar 4 3 m as we saw here. So, in this case what will you have the same thing. So, same set of open circles in these two quadrants and crosses here in these two quadrants again you have a set of 12 faces here. This we call it as deltoid dodecahedron here. So, this is deltoid dodecahedron. So, 12 faces. So, 
In case of dodecahedron, the faces were rhombic, but this face is such that we call it as deltoid dodecahedron. And if you have a situation that you, you have 2 over m bar 3 and 4 3 2 and 4 over m bar 3 2 over m. So, you will have as we have seen before there will be a set of 24 faces and we call it as tris octahedron here. So, you have an octahedron face that is a 1 1 1 there are 8 such faces in an octahedron each octahedron face now consists of 3 triangular faces as has been shown here. This is your 1 1 1 octahedral face. Now, it now consists of these 3 triangular faces here. So, 3 into 8 there are 24 faces here we call it as trice octahedron. So, we have studied tris tetrahedron and trice octahedron and you also have a trapezohedron and you have deltoid dodecahedron. Now, you have here is the remaining part of the isometric crystal forms. This is the general form symbol here H k L. This we have already studied when we have generated the 32 point groups of symmetry. You go back and see the lectures where I have taught the with a starting motif H k L and we have studied the point group of symmetry 2 3 4 3 2 bar 4 3 m and 4 over m bar 3 2 over m and 2 over m bar 3. There you see that when you have 2 3 you have a 12 phase form. So, this is shown here and this is called tetratoid. When you have 2 over m bar 3 we have 24 phases here this is this is the model of that we call it as diploid. When you have a bar 4 3 m something like that we call it as hex tetrahedron. So, instead of 3 faces in tetrahedron, tris tetrahedron, your hex means there are 6 faces here. So, 6 into 4 you have 24 faces here that you see here. So, this phase here it now consists of 6 triangular shaped phase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we call it as hex tetrahedron here. And when you have here 4 3 2 there you have this one here this we call it a gyroid and there are 24 faces here. And you now know which is the normal class of the of the isometric crystal system which we have 4 over m bar 3 2 over m we have with the starting motif h k l we have a total of 48 crystal faces here and this we call it as hex octahedron. So, we have studied hex tetrahedron, hex octahedron that means an octahedral phase, octahedron phase that is 1 1 1 is now consists of 6 such faces here. And this is essentially this octahedron here now you see 1 octahedral phase now consists of 6 faces. So, 6 in octahedron a total of 8 faces there. So, you have a total of 48 crystal faces here. So, in nutshell now you have uh, the form symbols in isometric crystal systems you can recapitulate you have 1 0 0 you have 1 1 0. So, this 1 0 0 this is your cube 1 1 0 is your dodecahedron then you have here that is h k 0. So, in case you have pyritohedron and then you have uh, the other one we have studied this particular one where you have tetrahexahedron and then we have studied the 1 1 1 we have octahedron and uh, tetrahedron and then you have studied HHL form here. So, you have a, a 4 types that we have studied here trice tetrahedron, trapezohedron, deltoid dodecahedron and trice octahedron and the general form symbol H H H K L. So, we have 5 varieties that we have studied here. Now, let us go to uh, the crystal form here uh, in the isometric system. So, here in some cases the isometric crystal may have a combination of crystal faces here. I am showing you a combined crystal form here where 3 fundamental types of isometric crystal forms are combined here. So, this is a crystal there are 3 types of crystal faces here 
one of this type, one of this type and the other of this type. So, this is your 1 0 0 cubic form here. So, there are 6 such faces here and this is the one which you have here. This is 1 1 0 uh, form here form symbol. These are 12 such faces are there. This is the dodecahedron crystal form here and this is the one which is uh, an octahedron form and which is 1 1 1 symbol here. So, there are 8 such faces here. So, in crystals you can have a combinations of crystal forms here. Now, let us now now, let us now start with the non isometric crystal forms here. There are two types of uh, non isometric crystal form. One type uh, we call it as open form here that does not enclose a volume. So, obviously, we require two such uh, open forms to enclose a volume here, and you can also have a closed form which is encloses a volume here. So, minerals could have more than one form closed or open. There are this, uh, this non isometric forms can be subdivided into 10 types. So, we will now study each type under this 10 categories here. The first one is called Pedian. So, this is a single phase and there is no symmetrically identical phase. So, and this is essentially in triclinic crystal system where the crystal class or point group of symmetry is 1. Now, you have the second one is called pinakite. This is also an open form. The, there are two parallel faces. They can be related to each other by a mirror plane or by inversion. When you have an inversion, then this is bar 1 that, that we see in triclinic crystal system and when you have mirror planes that means that will be in the monoclinic crystal system. And you have dihedron they are open forms here they can be subdivided into two types. Essentially dihedron is represents two non parallel phases and they are related by a mirror when they are related by a mirror we call it as a dome when they are related by a two fold axis of rotation or diode we call it as sphenoid. So, let us see how these forms look like. This is your single uh, phase here, this is your pedian. Now, if you have this phase here and if you have a center of symmetry here, you generate another phase here that diametrically opposite direction and these two parallel phases we call it as pinacoid. And these two crystal phases uh, they intersect at this point. So, non parallel phases if they are related by a mirror we call it as dome and if these are related by a diode we call it as sphenoid. So, you now know that when you have a, a mirror that means in dome the two phases they change their handedness whereas, two fold axis a proper axis that is why in sphenoid the phases retains handedness. Now, let us study the third type of uh, fourth type of form we call it as prism form here and this is an open form here. So, what are prism forms? So, they are a collection of 3, 4, 6, 8 or 12 faces. They are mutually parallel to each other and they intersect the faces intersect along a line which is parallel to the vertical crystallographic axis. What is a pyramid? This is a collection of 3, 4, 6, 8 or 12 faces. They intersect at a point and what will be a dipyramid? This will be a closed form here and this is a collection of 6, 8, 12, 16 or 24 faces. Essentially, there are two pyramids at each end of the crystal. So, you see uh, when we talk about pyramid we just have a double of these values here. So, 3 it becomes 6, 4 becomes 8, 6 becomes 12, 8, 16, 12, 24 and we will see why this is so in dipyramid why there will be a 
twice the number of faces uh, compared to that in a pyramid. All of these forms are named on the basis of the shape of the cross section and a total of 21 different forms can be named from prism, pyramid and dipyramid. So, let us see these symbols here. Now, I am showing these crystal models uh, in three rows here. This is the row where we show the prism, there are different types of prisms. This is an open form, this is the one for pyramid and this is the one for dipyramid and this is essentially the cross section of these faces in the horizontal plane here and how they look like on the basis of that there are different classifications here. So, let us now first start with this different varieties of prism forms here. Now, this is a rhombic prism here. So, there are four faces here and this is present in an orthorhombic uh, crystal system with the point group of symmetry is 2, 2, 2. So, there are four faces, all four faces intersect along this line and this is parallel to this vertical diode here. Now, if you see here, in this case the vertical axis is a tetrad axis or fourfold axis symmetry and you have here four faces here 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, that is why we call it as tetragonal prism here. Now, if you see here that if there is a situation here that this, this phase here that intersects the positive direction of a 1 axis and positive direction of a t axis, it is a 2 axis. If it is subdivided into two additional phases here and they will be one phase here, another phase here and there are instead of 4, there are 8 phases here. Then we call it as all they are parallel to each other and parallel to the vertical tetrad, we call it as di tetragonal a uh, di tetragonal prism here. And in this case, the three phases uh, are present in the trigonal crystal system and they are parallel to the vertical triad. And in this case, what happens? This three phases, each phase now consists of two phases here. So, 3 and 2, 2, there are six vertical phases here all parallel to the triad. So, this we call it as di trigonal prism here and the one where we have only three prism faces here, we will simply call it as trigonal prism here. And what you have here is that in this case, you have here hexagonal prism here, there are six faces here and if you have a multiple of 6 into 2, 12 faces here, then we call it as dihexagonal prism here. So, let us try to understand why in one case simple tetragonal and in another case di tetragonal prism is there. We see this in terms of this cross section of these faces here. So, this is here you have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 edges here. In case of this one here, this edge now, this edge now is subdivided into one edge here and the another edge here. So, this particular one for each of this phase, this is now subdivided into 2 into 4, a total of 8 phases here in case of a tetragonal system here or di tetragonal system. So, that is why you call it as di tetragonal type here. In same way, when you have a simple triangle, this is trigonal prism and when you have each triangle shaped phase consists of 2 edges here, then we call it as di trigonal prism here. Same thing applies for hexagonal prism here. So, you have this is an hexagon, these are 6 edges here, but if you have one edge now consists of 2 edges here, here and here and this one now consists of one edge here, another edge here, 6 into 2, then we call it as dihexagonal prism here. Now, let us come to the pyramid here. So, this is you see that all the faces now intersect at a point here. So, you can have this one here. So, immediately you know that the form symbol will have to be one where it will be intersecting all the three crystallographic axis or 
it may be parallel to one axis, but intersects at least the vertical crystallographic axis here. Now, what you have here is this is the uh, tetragonal pyramid, but instead of four inclined faces, if there are eight inclined faces, then I will call it as di tetragonal pyramid here. And this is a triang uh, this is a trigonal pyramid. The instead of three, if there are six inclined faces here, then we call it as di trigonal pyramid here. And this is an hexagonal pyramid and this is di hexagonal pyramid here. Now, let us come here in this particular row here. You see a pyramid at the top and pyramid at the bottom. So, this set of faces inclined face intersect in the positive direction of this axis here at one point and in the negative direction of this vertical axis here in this point here. So, when you have this then we call it as di we call it tetragonal di pyramid, but when you have instead of four inclined faces at the top or four inclined faces at the bottom, there are eight inclined faces at the top and there are eight inclined faces at the bottom, then we will call this as di di tetragonal di pyramid here. So, that is important here the nomenclature is di tetragonal di pyramid here and this is simple trigonal di pyramid uh, then this will be di trigonal di pyramid here and this is your hexagonal di pyramid and this will be your di hexagonal di pyramid here. Now, one of the things that you need to know is that there must be some basic criteria that should be uh, there so that to make one pyramid to a di pyramid. One of the way you can do it is that if you have a horizontal mirror plane uh, here. So, if you have a horizontal mirror plane perpendicular to the four fold axis, perpendicular to the three fold axis or perpendicular to the hexad, then you can produce a di pyramid here. So, I give you some specific examples here for a tetragonal crystal form here. So, let us uh, try to have uh, a we study with a very simple four fold axis symmetry here or the point group of symmetry is 4 and let us have uh, you have uh, this is your vertical four fold axis symmetry and your, your motif is 1 0 0. So, form symbol is 1 0 0. So, the vertical four fold axis will act upon this for 90 degree rotation it will produce a face here, it will produce another face here and it will produce another face here. So, you have here is that you have here that this is a four vertical face here. So, if you have a another symbol here 1 1 0. So, if it is uh, acted upon this four fold axis symmetry you produce this uh, three faces here and this will all be prism faces and it also start with h k 0 here. So, this will produce three such faces here and you have here these are all prism faces here. So, 1 2 3 this one this one this one you have four vertical faces these are tetragonal prism here. Now, if you have a situation that same h k 0 here if I put it h greater than k. So, then with this you just change 4 to 4 mm then we produce a 7 additional face here and this is essentially will be 8 vertical faces this will produce di tetragonal prism here. And if you have a simple four fold axis symmetry and if you have an inclined face here H 0 L. So, what will you produce here? You will produce simple pyramid here. But if you have a 1 which is a 4 over m as I was telling you this is a horizontal plane here and that will produce a total of 8 faces here then we have tetragonal di pyramid. So, this is essentially is what we call it here. Now, you have uh, another set of uh, isometric non isometric forms we call it as trapezohedron and scalenohedron. So, trapezohedron this is a closed form this is a collection of 6 8 12 faces each face is a trapezoid and is a plane shape with 4 unequal sides here and the named according to the number of faces here. So, these are the essentially examples of trapezohedron here 
and scalenohedron this is a closed form here so it's a collection of 8 or 12 faces each face is a scalene triangle no two angles are equal and the remaining two non isometric crystal forms one is called rhombohedron is a closed form here this consists of six faces each face is rhomb shaped here this is the example of rhombohedron here and you also have a tetrahedron this is a closed form here this is a triangular shaped four triangular shaped faces here with this i come to an end to this course on crystallography here from next class we will start uh, a new topic here that will be on optical mineralogy here. So, I request all of you to attend the course on optical mineralogy. Thank you.